Sometimes I have a dream and my husband's sold the boat. And bought a little house with no garden and we don't know our neighbours. And I hate it. And I wake up and then we're still on the boat. And I'm happy again. I'm Katie Saunders and I live on this boat with my husband and my two children. And we live on the Grand Union Canal. I don't feel like I'm in London. Okay, this is our boat. Come on in. This is the living room. And, and then this is the bit the kids like to do, really. But this is where we sleep. Before I was pregnant with my son, we did a lot of work on the boat. We had the boat taken out of the water, chopped in half, pulled apart, and we had another eight foot welded in so that we could get more space and continue living on the boat with children. And when we did that, we redesigned the middle section of the boat so that we could have an extra room uh, and a corridor. And, uh, and, and we've made, well, I mostly made the bookcase when I was pregnant and uh, and they love that. In fact it only ever gets shut just before someone new comes around and then the children like to push it open. Well, pre they pretend that they they don't have a bedroom before that happens. So this used to be our bedroom so it's the biggest space in the boat but um, we realized that our bed fits in what used, was the nursery so we've squished ourselves in there and given them the most room. And because you've got uh, gunnels that go round the side of the boat, you get extra space, which is much more useful to them than to us. So she's got her toys and her books in there. She thinks it's like a little princess bed. And they love the boat because they haven't known any different. They like the outside element of it. They like that their friends think it's cool. We're lucky because we have this, this space outside of our boat and this is what made it really appealing. It's not just us inside the boat. So when it comes to the spring, just come outside. Hey Chuk Chuk, try that. What do you think of that? You can have it. My parents were permanently doing DIY or gardening and the weekends were work it wasn't looking for a way to entertain us we were entertained because we were building dens in the garden or building shacks or, or whatever it was so i've grow, grown up with this this feeling that life is work and you've got if you want something you need to make it yeah you don't get much time when the children are at school a um, bit of tidying bit of gardening bit of washing and if I have any time left, then that's for me to work on, on my business. Um, so that always comes last, really. That's, unfortunately, that's, that's spare time. That's a luxury. This is my spot. This is where I cook. This is where my children eat. This is where they draw pictures, do homework. I can see what they're watching on telly. I can see what they're doing and we all live together and that's what I like about boat life. I like that we, we all live in the same space. You know each other very well. So I've got the water trough in the field out there and the horses come to that every day. So I get to see the horses every day. I can see my garden. I can, what I like about this boat is if the children are outside, I can see the whole garden through the windows so I can keep an eye on them. And they know to stay on the mooring. And then if I'm in the garden, I'll say, you can go as far as Lucy's mooring or Jenny's mooring and they'll come straight back sometimes. We have less, so we borrow more. I like the idea that if you need something, I know if I need the long, tape measure to measure my boat or the mooring uh, or measure a space up, I go to Ben, who has the, <laughs> the longest tape measure on the mooring. 
<laughs> and uh, someone will have a crowbar, someone will have an angle grinder, whatever it is you need. Uh, we all lend things to each other. Some people have moved here uh, through circumstance, so either they've lost a partner, split up with a partner, a lot of the time it's because they've looked for cheaper accommodation and somewhere, you know, somewhere to live that doesn't cost so much. And um, Sometimes people have done it for the lifestyle, they want to live a different life. Uh, some people have grown up with it. I think some people have just always known boats. And you get a real mix. There's people from all walks of life down here. We needed something like this. I think it got very boring and stale living in a house. Not that that's the case for everyone, just it was the case for us. We, we had a house. Um, nearby and it was near the canal so we liked looking at all the boats and we owned the house together um, but in those days I was a chef so I was working 60 hours a week. My husband worked 9 till 5.30 and as he came home um, I would be leaving for work and we never saw each other. We somehow managed to do our house up but um, we never saw each other and we nearly broke up. We, we did break up, we broke up for two months. And, um, and we were going to sell the house, we were going to... Tom started looking at what he'd do with half the money. He thought about living on the boat. I think we decided, or Tom suggested, that it wasn't us that, that, that were, were broken. It was, it was everything else. It's the stresses of paying the bills and working, both working all hours to pay a mortgage on a house you're never in. So um, uh, we decided to change it all to, for me to, he suggested that I left work, I stopped being a chef and we bought a boat together. Um, that's what we did and it was the best thing we did. Because um, since we've had the children it means that I haven't had to go back to work which was something that I didn't want to do. I wanted to be able to be at home for the children, I wanted to be able to pick them up from school um, and I don't think we'd have ever got a view like we have here or a garden like we have here or a community like we have if we were still in the house, we'd have had to have probably moved somewhere completely different to be able to get that. The kids are more boaters than we are. They, they've lived here 100% of their life, whereas we're newbies. We've only lived here for uh, 12 years, and we've been married for 10, nearly 10. And we got married in the field just outside our mooring. We're planning to relive our wedding and put some tents out in the field and have a fire pit and some music and some drinks and celebrate being together for 10 years. It's not much, but I think maybe in this day and age, we need a bit more celebrating. <laughs> <laughs>